He wanted to grow 2.8. He says he will end at 1.5. Non-oil GDP, he, he wanted 3%. He says he will end at 1.5. Inflation, his target was 18. He will end at 31%. Primary balance, he wanted a positive primary balance of 0.5. He will end with a negative primary balance of 0.7. Gross reserves, <laughs> and I wish the deputy minister was here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's here. Madam, she's here. we are talking of gross reserves. We are not talking of net reserves. And in your document, you stated gross reserves. This oil. If you take President Akufo in 2022, they made a loss of 60 billion cities. Mm. From a profit of almost one billion, with this minimal amount of oil revenue. We made a profit of over one billion, and yet with all these resources, under President Akufuado, the Bank of Ghana has made a loss of sixty billion. Mm. Bank, now yeah. the Bank of Ghana is not a profit-making entity. The Bank of Ghana is a regulator and a banker of a large resort, a banker of the government, and then, most importantly, even when they make profit, they have to transfer it to the consolidated fund. Mr. Speaker, look at equity. And that, that, for me, is the most important part. Under President Mahama, we had a positive equity of four billion. The equity is what, like, shareholders contribute. So, when there's profit, you transfer to the shareholder in the form of transfer, which is equity. But as we got today, today, the equity of the Bank of Ghana is negative fifty-five billion. Wow! Look, we've never witnessed this. Wow. And I think that this chamber, I'm putting politics aside on this call, this chamber should take an interest in investigating how come the central bank makes a loss of 55 billion in terms of equity. How are you going to pay this? Ghana can deal with this. It's to print money. And when you print money, it's called synergy. It doesn't come with any backing because it doesn't come with value. It's just paper money you are dumping in the system. And when you dump so much paper money, it means that a lot of money is following or chasing fewer goods, which spikes inflation. It's therefore no surprise that Ghana's inflation hovered around 45%. It's a complete mismanagement of the economy.